Hallo, willkommen bei Deutsch Info und Training. Mein Name ist Michael, my name is Michael. I'm a German teacher and I'm here for you to help you improve your German. Today we have a very important topic that causes headaches to many of you, I know. And this is the definite articles, der, die, das. I know there is not so much logic behind it, so it's not so easy to figure out which article to use for which noun. But I've got good news for you today. Actually, two good news. And towards the end of the video, there's a little something waiting for you. And this is called... Bonus! Why are the definite articles, die bestimmten Artikel, so difficult for us? Well, there is natural gender, like male and female, that's okay. But with the rest, there is not so much logic behind it. But as I said, there is good news for you. And it's starting right now. Good news! Number one. There are rules for many nouns and they cover, let's say, between 90 and 98% of the relevant nouns, which is quite good. So let's get started with the masculine article der. We're talking about male people, animal and professions, the days of the week, the months of the year, seasons and directions. Every alcoholic drink is masculine, except from das Bier. And we have some endings, some word endings, that show us that this noun is supposed to be masculine and has the article der. Please keep in mind that these rules and some examples to all the words you can find in the description below, so you can familiarize yourself with them and get a little feeling for that, okay? So let's have a look at the feminine article D, which we use for female people, animals and professions, and for the endings you could see over there. And we have the neutral article DAS, which we can use for every infinitive. So we can take a verb, the basic form of the verb, the infinitive, and we can make it a noun with the use of das. We put the article das in front of it and then it is a noun. Also, we have endings like hen, lein, and in southern Germany and in Austria also l, which makes everything small and tiny. It's called a diminutive and this is always neutral and always has the article das. And we also have some more endings for the neutral article, as you can see. Good news, number two. So here is good news number two, which is at the same time also the bonus material for today. And I'm very excited to talk about it because it is something really very important, very simple and very effective. So I'm talking about a technique you can use in order to get the article, the definite article, der, die and das, all the time correct. So every single time you are using an article with a noun, you will have right. it. How can you do that? Let me show you. Many, many students of mine in decades started to learn the nouns like this. They had, for example, in English, a word for this thing. So this is a spoon, okay. And what did they do? They said spoon in German means Löffel. But, uh, wrong. So why is this wrong? The word is not wrong, of course. Spoon means Löffel, that's correct. But the technique is wrong. The way you are doing it is wrong. Because if you do it like that, you have so much extra work to do. You have to do an extra step to get also the article right. Because for your brain, there is no difference whether you say Löffel or der Löffel. So why not put these two together, the article and the noun. You put them together as if they were one single word. It's almost as if it was every noun in German would be starting with a D. 
as every noun in German would have a prefix. Yet it does. I know it's not a prefix, it's an article. Of course, I'm aware of it. But if you regard it like that, if you look at it like that, you have one word there to study, der Löffel. And for your brain, there is no difference if you say, okay, come on, spoon means der Löffel. It's not much more effort than spoon is Löffel. It's the same. Your brain doesn't care. Your brain doesn't give anything. Yeah, It's just doing what you tell it. So why not tell your brain, this is spoon, in German, der Löffel. This is fork, in German, die Gabel. This is knife, in German, das Messer. Always, always and always use it together with the article, as if it was one word. And you can never, ever be wrong with the article. When you hear, like, die Löffel, oh my god, it will hurt you, it will hurt your ears, because it's natural to you that you say, oh no, der Löffel. That's how I learned it. Der Löffel, die Gabel, das Messer. Like one word. Super easy, super simple, super effective. And if somebody told you that before, which I assume was the case, and you said, yes, I know, I know it, but no, there is no, but just do it. So please use this technique. It's really, really effective and it works. I can promise you it works. For many, many years, many, many students did it and they were all happy and thankful and said, hey, Michael, it really works. Now I got all the articles right every single time. And that's such a wonderful thing to do and such an important and big step in your language acquisition. So please try it out and tell me in your comments what you think about it. So thank you for today. Danke für heute. Tschüss. Bis bald.